Hej, cześć, z tej strony Arturo, witam was wszystkich i powracamy do Broken Sword 2.5. Po króciutkiej przerwie powracamy do przygód George'a. W poprzednim odcinku był zamach na metro, wszystko wybuchło, Niko i ten Latynos gdzieś zniknęli, nam udało się przeżyć i dotarliśmy do jakiegoś miasteczka. Ok, jesteśmy w aptece, zobaczmy co tu jest na tym stojaczku. No, I really don't want any. <laughs> Pogadajmy sobie z panem aptekarzem. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How long have you been working here? Please, sir. If you need my help, just tell me. Otherwise, I'd be grateful if you let me go on with my business. I'm not particularly interested in idle chit-chat. I just thought that... I just told you not to bother me unless you need medical treatment. Understood. <laughs> Idzie George do jakiegoś sklepu i... Jak długo pan już tu pracuje? Hm, wyobrażacie sobie? Iść gdzieś do netto, do Biedronki? I pytacie kaserki, jak długo pani tu pracuje? Eee, widać, że są tu jakieś fiolki z lekami. I can't walk into a pharmacy and steal drugs. Prochy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? I wondered if I could get this file over here. That's a laxative. Yes, I know. I've been constipated for days now. What are the exact symptoms? Um, well... I knew it. Listen, mister. The laxative is free, and you don't even need a prescription for it. Nevertheless, I only hand out laxatives to customers who really need them. And you obviously don't. <laughs> No dobra, w fiolkach znajduje się lek przeczyszczający. My będziemy potrzebować jedną taką fiolkę, ale żeby ją zdobyć, na początku przejrzyjmy sobie gazetę. I scanned this outdated newspaper for something useful, but accept a report about a school that was hit by an outbreak of constipation, affecting hundreds of children. There's nothing of interest. Wait a minute. Constipation. Here's something about the symptoms. The children complained about severe pain in the stomach and back. Furthermore, there were complaints about a nasty feeling of nausea. Okay, dobra. Weźmy sobie teraz gazetę i skryjmy ją na pana aptekarza. Sir, can I please get one of those files? I've told you repeatedly not to bother me. Okay, Stobart. Now it's time to show how good you are at acting. But sir, my stomach hurts and my back. The pain is unbearable. It's agony. Hmm. You really seem to be ill. Better take one of these, but only one. <laughs> Lek darmowy. Gdyby to było takie proste, normalnie w aptece, iść i powiedzieć: Ła, boli mnie brzuch, boli mnie głowa, proszę mi dać te leki. I aptekarka wyciąga z zalady i nam je daje. Okej, okay, jesteśmy w jakimś barze. Now that would be great. Strolling out of the pub with the pin board under my arm. But the whole George you need this item just because it exists impulse isn't really kicking in at the moment. <laughs> jest tutaj barman i jest tutaj... Są tutaj jacyś dwaj goście. Może na początku porozmawiamy sobie z barmanem. Are you the bartender? No, I'm the holy St. Peter. Calm down, I'm only asking. And I'm only answering. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're the bartender. Aren't you wondering why there are so few people here? Oh, a new pub opened right across the road. Bobby country, how oh, noble. Business has been going down here ever since. Apart from Mike and Stephen over there, not many people find their way into this place. Those two are virtually part of this pub. So, what do you do all day? Not much. I clean the glasses, read newspapers, and do whatever comes up. Sometimes, I'm extremely lucky and the dishwasher packs up. So then, I can repair it. What kind of newspapers do you read? I don't care, I read whatever. I'd even read a paper that's five years old. <laughs> Have you seen a dark-haired woman with a Latin-looking guy? Is she your wife, son? Well, not yet, but she's my girlfriend. So, you're a couple. You could say that. Then why is she roaming around with that Latin-looking guy, instead of being with you? That's a long story. 
Listen, I don't want to bore you with the story of my life, so have you seen them? No. Do you know anything about the Templars? Oh, yes indeed, sir, I do. I read a lot and attend seminars, so I learn quite a few things. And I love the Templars. They're my second hobby, so to speak. Yeah, mine too, so to speak. Tell me something about them. A medieval order of knights eradicated by Philip the Fair. In three weeks, there's going to be an exhibition about the Templars in Paris. I really must attend, even if my wife will kick up a fuss about it. I am impressed. Mm-hmm. Wystawa Templariuszy i to w Paryżu. Do you know whether the Templars can be linked to the Chinese culture? Certainly. The Templars had good connections to the Chinese royalty. Which royalty? They are said to have connections to Prince Zai Hang. Zi Hang! Exactly. There's some uncertainty about both parties' intentions, though. After all, the Prince wasn't able to support the Templars with soldiers, as his own army was so badly trained. And the Templars were too greedy to support the Chinese court financially. The links are supposed to be intact even today, though. Are there any further clues? The exhibition in Paris is expected to be very helpful regarding that matter. It may even provide some new evidence. Do you know where exactly in Paris it will be held? I'm afraid not, but I'm going to find out soon. I only know this much. A seal is mentioned in one of the last writings of the Grand Master Jacques de Molay. And he wrote about the return of the Templars, which will be initiated by that very seal. Do you think such a seal exists? Oh yes, I'm quite sure of that. What does that mean? Nothing. I doubt that the seal will be of any importance. Jacques de Molay only wanted to frighten his pursuers and enemies shortly before he died. A very unnatural death, I may add. But all he got were taunts and derision. I need to get to that exhibition in Paris as quickly as possible. Maybe I'll find the seal there. It must be important for the Templars to kill for it. But first, I need a room for the night. There are no flights to Paris today. Could I rent a room? Shouldn't be a problem. We've got plenty of rooms on the first floor, and they're all free. Then I'll take one. There you go. It's the first door on the left-hand side. Thanks. No i wynajęliśmy sobie pokój. Dowiedzieliśmy się też co nieco o jakiejś wystawie Templariuszy w Paryżu. Może porozmawiajmy sobie z Mike'em i Stevenem. Good afternoon. Cheers, mates. My name is George Stobart. I'm on a trip around Britain. I'm Mike, not Steve. Mm -hmm. Czyli nic ciekawego się nie dowiedzieliśmy. No dobra, pójdziemy na piętro, obczajmy nasz pokój. Aha, jest niby wiele pokoi do wynajęcia, ale jak widać nie ma tutaj przejścia. This sign won't be of much use to me. Great, just my luck. Of course they had to be painting here right now. <laughs> Maleją posadzkę, bo jest drewniana. I pulled the door, but it doesn't open. No nie otworzyły się, bo nie otworzyłeś kluczem. I put the key into the lock. There's a creaking noise and the key slips out of the lock again. Either the bartender gave me the wrong key or the lock is broken. Albo ktoś jest po drugiej stronie i wypycha klucz swoim kluczem. A dobra, wejść tam nie możemy. Zejdziemy sobie na dół. Damn it! The bartender has left. Barman gdzieś sobie poszedł. Mamy tutaj szklankę. A needle won't hurt. Oraz mydło. Pojawiła, pojawiła nam się igła i mydło w ekwipunku. Mydło możemy sobie rozkruszyć yy, właśnie tym. I pojawiły się kosteczki mydlane, które będą za chwilę nam potrzebne. Ale na razie porozmawiajmy sobie z Mike'em i Stevenem. Do you have any idea where the bartender has gone? Yeah, he went to get himself something to read. Should be back in an hour. Well, who looks after the pub in the meantime? We do. You? Yeah, of course, why not? Yeah, we used to, mates. 
It's not the first time Mr. Powell has left his pub. Do you know how I can get into my room? The key doesn't work. A problem we know well. What can I do? Are you up for a little match? You won't tell me unless I agree, right? Right, mate. And you have to win, of course. No problem. Do you know Indian wrestling? Arm wrestling, you mean? That's what you want to do? Right. Are you ready? Ready. Here we go. I win. I'm no match for you. Never give up, mate. <laughs> Te dźwięki w tle brzmiały bardziej jakby ktoś klocka wyduszał. Is that water you're drinking? Yes, it is. I don't drink alcohol anymore. Now you're surprised, aren't you? A little. You see, a couple of years ago, I forgot my own children's names. All because of the drinking. Since then, I've been on the water. And besides, my belly has become sort of tender. Mój brzuch stał się delikatniejszy. Okej, okay, musimy ich jakoś stąd wykurzyć. Weźmiemy sobie środki przeczyszczające i wsypiemy mu do szklanki z wodą. Mike runs to the washroom like a scalded cat. The fact that his belly was a little tender has fueled the effect of the laxative. Steven has run after him. Mm-hmm. A Steven po co tam pobieg? Trzymać go za głowę czy za... Mm-hmm. Uuu, co za dźwięki. <laughs> Musimy zrobić małe sabota, żebyśmy mogli wygrać z Mike'em w siłowaniu na rękę. Weźmiemy sobie szklankę, którą teraz i tak musimy postawić na stole, znaczy się wylać wodę. The table is wet now. Now what? A teraz rozpuścimy na tym mydło. The soap makes the surface of the table quite slippery. No i dzięki temu będziemy mogli wykryć na rękę. Wejdźmy raz, raz do góry, zejdźmy na dół. Jak widać, nasi koledzy pojawili się z powrotem przy stoliku. Hey Mike, another match? Of course. And I'm afraid you lose, Mike. Looks like it. But I could swear my elbow slipped on the table. Come on, Mike. Don't be a sore loser. You're right. I'm probably imagining things. You won fair and square. So, how can I open the door? Just give it a decent kick and it will open all right. That's it? That's it, mate. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> no, to nam poradził. Kapnąć drzwi. Czyli tak zwanie otworzyć po amerykańsku i wejść do środka. No dobra, spróbujmy. Dzień później z powrotem w mieszkaniu Niko. The barkeeper was talking about an exhibition in Paris. But where could... Come on, Stobart, use your brain. Ja myślę, że w muzeum. The only museum that comes to mind is the Muse Crew. But there are two problems. First, it's been a long time, and I don't know if I can find it. Second, Andre. I guess I don't have a choice. George, czym tu się przyjmujesz? Tu chodzi o twoją dziewczynę. Okej, okay, dobra, udamy się do tego muzeum. Muzeum Krum. Great, I'm lost. Zakuty człowiek. Hi, could you help me? That depends on your question. What's your name? My name is George Stobart. Stobart, two B's and two T's. What's your name? Nice to meet you, George. My name is Dr. Blackter. How can I help you? <laughs> Dr. Blackter. I don't mean to be rude, but 
why are you bound hand and foot? I can hardly answer that question, George. Why is that? You must have done something or you wouldn't be in chains, would you? Well, in my eyes, what I did wasn't wrong at all, George. Only in the eyes of the people that saw me do it. To me, what's important is not what I've done or not done, but why you're asking me about it. In today's society, it seems almost commonplace to put people in chains who haven't done anything wrong. Consequently, I assume it's nothing unusual to be in chains anymore. Which leads me to the question, why are you still walking free? Isn't that an irrefutable sign that we're living in an Orwellian society, George? Wow, you know, I've never seen it from that perspective. Putting that guy in chains makes sense to me now. <laughs> Goście wygląda na jakiegoś psychicznie chorego. Chociaż nie, nie wiem. Well, would you tell me what entirely innocent and legal act you committed before this degraded society felt the need to take you into custody? I had dinner with a patient. Wow, that does seem a bit of a harsh sentence. Maybe I had the wrong impression of you. Is that really all there is to it? Well, he was the main cause. Mother of God. Now that is illegal, doctor. And not exactly great medical ethics. You didn't know him, George? So you can't judge, can you? He was a very unpleasant human being whose way of treating others put him totally out of place in this world. But as a doctor, shouldn't you have been helping to remedy that? I cure only what I am able to cure, George. In that case, it wasn't the patient I had to cure, but the world that needed to be cured of him, and is that bit cleaner as a result. Well, I definitely wasn't wrong about him. Doctor, I think you have a serious problem. If you say so, George. You see, I have stopped arguing with people. Nobody ever really listens to my arguments. I can see why. I guess I've heard enough of that. Let's change the subject. You don't know what to say, right, George? You know, there are people that want to seriously discuss things, and others only want to do small talk. I'm not one for such primitive conversation. It's beneath me. Which kind would I be then? My knowledge of human nature tells me that you wouldn't like my answer. You'd be offended. All right, I can live with your judgment. You see, George, even though I haven't told you, you already know the answer. You're offended, and you don't want to discuss it any further. I was right in all respects. He was right. I think this lunatic is too smart for me. <laughs> Czajcie to. Jesteście chorzy, nie wiem. Coś wam tam dolega. Hmm. Macie nerkę chorą, wątrobę. Idziecie do lekarza. I lekarz stwierdza, nie ma dla ciebie ratunku. Dlatego cię zjem. Hmm. Dziwne to. I'm looking for the museum croon. I should know where to find it, but... I got lost somehow. I can't tell you the way, but I'd like to know something from you, or rather about you in exchange. Listen, I'm not really feeling like Q&A games right now. Quid pro quo, George. You tell me something, I tell you something. If it's absolutely necessary. Do you have a girlfriend, George? Hey, that's kind of personal. Do you want to know the way or not, George? I'm sure that none of the people you'll meet here will be as cooperative as me. Okay, I have a girlfriend. Well done. First, walk down this street until you reach a corner shop. What's your girlfriend's name, George? Why should I tell you that? Quid pro quo, George. You've got some nerve. Her name is... Hehe. <laughs> I możemy gościa teraz okłamać albo powiedzieć mu prawdę. Hmm, z racji tego, że on jest strasznie dziwny, ja się go troszkę boję, że mnie zje. Powiemy mu prawdę. Her name is Nico. Well done, George. Well done. After that corner shop, you turn left to face Notre Dame. Then walk straight on. Do you have dreams, George? But... Quid pro. Okay, okay. I dream about my girlfriend being abducted and I can't do anything about it. That's terrible sometimes. I can't believe what I've just told this madman. Take the first turn right and you'll find the museum. Do you hear your girlfriend scream in your dreams, George? Do you hear her scream?
take good care of your girlfriend, George. Hmm. Strasznie dziwny gościu. Mam nadzieję, że nie będę musiał już z nim więcej rozmawiać. Eee. No i co? Byliśmy tam i co? Museum Croon closed for refurbishing. Damn it, wait. Maybe there's another museum. Może jest, ale gdzie my je mamy znaleźć? Może udamy się na Montfacun. Ciekawe, czy będzie tam ksiądz. Byśmy mogli sobie z nim pogadać. Nie ma. No dobra. No to się cofniemy. Eee, pójdziemy sobie do Café de la Chandelle Verte. I can't remember what the French call the Baphomet Idol. Was it Marseille? I don't think so. I think it was something with an S. If only someone could help us. Hmm. Jacyś dziwni ludzie. Ten przebrany wygląda jak rycerz z laską. <laughs> Pardon me? Excuse me. Excuse me. No nie są zbyt chętni do rozmowy, ale wisi tu jakiś plakat. Możemy mu się przyjrzeć. It says that Mofasan is collecting donations for the third world next Saturday. The priest invites the congregation to come and listen to the choir sing. That's it. Why didn't I remember the priest sooner? He knew about the Templars when I first came to Paris. Maybe he can help. No, i teraz musimy udać się do Montfaucon i porozmawiać sobie z księdzem. Jakby ksiądz nie mógł się od razu tam pojawić, tylko musieliśmy najpierw przeczytać plakat. Staj sobie dziadek. Dla mnie każdy ksiądz wygląda tak samo. Stary łysy w okularach. <laughs> Ale jestem ham. Pardon me. Yes, what can I do for you? Do you remember me? Oh, you're the man whose chalice I cleaned. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. No, no, it's all right. I enjoyed doing it. Really? That's a relief. Have you seen Nicole Collard lately? She's my girlfriend. Black hair, smartly dressed. I'm looking for her. Every day scores of people enter these walls. I find it hard to remember all their names and faces. But I am sure you will find her. God will be with you. Can you tell me what the idol of Baphomet used to be called? Baphomet? No, uh, I mean in French. Oh well, uh, let me think. I can't remember, but I'll remember seeing the name somewhere here in this church. Okay, I'll take a look around. Thanks anyway. Oh, you are very welcome. This church is just as splendid as I remember. Yes, it is. And that is thanks to the people of the parish, who have given large donations not only to support the poor souls in the third world, but also for the restoration of this church. Are you coming to this service next Saturday? Hmm. Czy wybieramy się na msze? Nie? Tak. Powiedzmy, że tak. I can't promise anything, but I'll try to be there. I'd be so grateful. <laughs> Oczywiście, że nie przyjdziemy na mszy. Okłamaliśmy księdza, pójdziemy do piekła. Eee... Spójrzmy na ten witraż. As I take a closer look, I see it. The writing baphomet below the illustration of Jesus can easily be made out. But there's something written underneath it. Much smaller. No, it's pointless. I can't read it. Mhm. <laughs> Czyli będziemy potrzebować coś, co nam powiększy ten napis. 
Najlepiej, gdyby było to szkło powiększające, ale skąd je zdobyć? O, to jest pytanie. Nie, a tak naprawdę, kiedy wyjdziemy sobie z kościoła, to szkło będzie leżało na ziemi. Hmm, a magnifying glass. It probably belongs to one of the tourists. Pewnie tak, ale wziąć go nie możemy, ponieważ turyści stoją tuż obok. Ale możemy zamówić sobie kawkę, poczekać aż turyści odejdą i wtedy standardowo zajmamy lupę. No, what can I do for you, monsieur? Możemy zamówić sobie kawę, możemy zamówić sobie tort urodzinowy, możemy zamówić sobie lody. I'll have a coffee. Black coffee, please. Anything else? Ale my lubimy czarną kawę ekspresso. Gorzko mu w dodatku. Mhm. Mm Here we are, sir. A black coffee. Poproszę rachunek. I'd like to pay, please. That is 16 euros 80. What? That's a rip-off. Okay. I don't have a choice, do I? Ha! <laughs> 60 zł za kawę. Strasznie drogo jest w tej kawiarni. Nie jedźcie nigdzie do Paryża, bo zbankrutujecie. Jak widać, turyści odeszli. My sobie weźmiemy szkło powiększające. Hmm. A magnifying glass. It probably belongs to one of the tourists. I wonder if they'll miss it. I guess not. No pewnie, że nie. Wejdziemy z powrotem do kościoła i przyjrzymy się temu witrażowi z bliska. I can see the small writing through the magnifying glass. It reads Sue. That's it. Sue. Co to znaczy? Nie wiem. Mimo tego, że uczyłem się francuskiego, to nie wiem, co to znaczy. Ale mogę wam się przedstawić. Je m'appelle Arthur. J'habite à Volstein. <laughs> Tyle pamiętam. No, jak się e, z 13 lat już nie uczyło francuskiego, to jednak się wszystko zapomina. No dobra, udamy się jeszcze raz do Café de la Chandelle i pogadamy sobie z tymi przechodniami. Hello? So. That's it. Yes, that's it. Thank you very much. No, not at all. Maybe you can help me in exchange. Okay, what's the problem? Can you tell me where I can find a museum that houses objects from the age of the Templars? Let me think. How about the Museum Natres near the Mont Fasson? Thanks, you've been a great help. Have you heard about the explosion a few years back? What? The explosion, broken glass all around, me in the middle. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Boom, and everything was broken. Luckily, I was able to save myself by diving out of the way like a cat. Well, that's really exciting. Yeah, it was, kind of. <laughs> George się chwali czy się żali? Nie wiem. No dobra. Udajmy się do muzeum. Muzeum na tre. Są tutaj jacyś kasjerzy. Możemy z nimi pogadać? Oglądaj mecz. Can you tell me something about... Be quiet out there. We'll come back later. But I can't go in without a ticket. 
That's not our problem. We're watching the match. Okay. Czyli możemy wejść sobie za darmo, ponieważ kasjerzy są w zajęcie oglądaniem Euro 2016. Um, you won't just let me in there, will you? I can't. There's restoration work going on in there. The exhibits will be available in about two months. I hear that museum crew is completely closed for restoration. That's true. The city is investing a lot of money in the restoration of the local museums. You're lucky the museum hasn't been closed as well. Have you ever heard of the Templars? You mean the Knights Templar? Yes, there are some artifacts just behind this door. Do you know what it is? No, monsieur. I'm not really interested in those things. My fields are football and... well, my wife. Have you seen a good-looking black-haired woman? Evans, no. I'm happily married. Well, most of the time. She's my girlfriend. I'm looking for her. Sorry, I haven't seen her. I can't wait for two months. Can't you make a little exception? I need some information I can probably get in this room. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't let you go in there. Nice weather. Perfect for playing football. Outside. I can't take it any longer, sir. Could you stop talking about football, please? Aren't you interested in the match? Your colleagues in the ticket booth are watching the match between France and Germany. Don't you want to see that match? You're right, of course. I'd love to see the match, but... I'm not allowed to leave my post here. That's why I'd be much obliged. If you could stop talking about it, it makes me sad. Hmm. Your colleagues are watching the game in the ticket booth, and you're here. Don't you think it's a little unfair that you have to work? Well, what can I say? I tried to take the day off, but my colleagues were faster than me. Heh <laughs> heh. is up. Palonym fanem piłki nożnej. Nie chce nas wpuścić, ale my mamy sposób, żeby nas wpuścił. Pogadamy z nim jeszcze raz. I've tried it the nice and friendly way. Now it's time for a dastardly piece of cunning. Oh my god, a penalty for the French team! What a brutal foul on Zidane! <laughs> ale my jesteśmy okropni. Ah, I must see that game. Could you take over my post for a minute while I go and watch the penalty? Sure, pleasure. Thank you so much, sir. Don't let anyone in. I'll be back in a minute. George Quanta. Mm -hmm. Weźmy sobie ten magazyn. It's not an FHM, but you must always educate yourself with new things. This says that the parchment is one of the last documents written by Jacques de Molay. Shortly before he was burnt at the stake, he is said to have told one of his servant boys, Geoffrey de Charnay, the secret of a lost seal that was said to be more powerful than a thousand gods. Wow, a thousand gods, huh? Not just one, but a thousand. It says... Mole instructed Charney to look for the seal, but before he could find it, he met the same fate as his master. Charney was burnt alive by the French Inquisition. Although managed to hide the parchment from his enemies, the seal has remained lost to this day. The only trace that the parchment gives leads to is Portugal Tomar, a provincial small town northeast of Lisbon the Templars' last European stronghold in the 14th century. When Tomar fell and the order was destroyed, the seal disappeared in the confusion of the war. But it is assumed that the seal is still hidden somewhere in the area. The sandy and rocky hills of Tomar are an attractive destination for archaeologists, tourists, and adventurous treasure seekers. That must be it. Tomar! Pardon? Uh, nothing. It's all right. Stobart, you are fantastic. First, you got rid of the Watchmen, and now you even know your next destination, Portugal. Okay, let's go to Portugal. We have to go to the airport. 
i nasz kolejny ser to Tomar. Portugalia niedaleko Toma. No dobra moi drodzy, w tym miejscu zakończymy sobie ten odcinek. Myślę, że jeszcze jeden odcinek, góra dwa i zakończymy tą seryjkę. A tymczasem trzymajcie się, do usłyszenia. Piona!